The Tang Dynasty Tour Chapter 2 Chang'an in a Dream Section 14 The Life of the Blood 2 I'm also very curious about how he managed to save his life. Since it's beneficial to Qin Qing's health, he might as well use it. It's worth it to exchange the lives of traitors for the health of our great Tang's pillar generals. So, what if I have a bad reputation Li Er walked in with his hands behind his back. The people in the room suddenly became shorter. The complicated etiquette became simple with Li Er's wave of his hand. Qin Kian was about to reprimand the butler when Li Er stopped him. Today, I only came to see how Qin Qing's illness was, so I went directly to the back hall. There's no need for some vulgar etiquette. It's as if I'm giving you face by going straight to your back hall. Yun Ye thought to himself. Although this old minister has a small illness, how dare I trouble your majesty to visit me personally this old minister is honored. Qin Kiang said without any backbone. Love Qing for my Tang dynasty life and death, wearing a hundred wounds, but love Qing cannot drink, otherwise I will follow Sun Quan old things, a cup of wine to pay love Qing merit. Qin Kiang's eyes reddened when he said this. The four dukes beside her also sighed. This bought people's hearts Yun Ye felt that these brothers' EQ was too low. Just a few words without cost made them cry with gratitude. Look at how excited old Yu Qi was. He wanted to hold the explosive bag and blow up the enemy bunker right now. From Yun Ye's point of view, old Qin should at least get a few million dollars for his achievements. He should also give a few beautiful women as gifts. He should get a few sets of mansions, and they must be within the first ring. Only then would it be worth touching. The rest was all nonsense. I have brought ten condemned prisoners, all of whom are extremely evil. Yun Qing, do you think that's enough after saying that, he pointed out. The crowd saw ten prisoners kneeling outside the door, their heads covered in black cloth bags, shivering in the cold wind. Yun Ye's heart was as cold as this cold wind. This was a human being, and he was Han Chinese. He could not do the same kind of animal behavior as Matsui Ishijin. Yun Ye knew that drawing blood would not kill anyone. However, the people in the room did not know that. Those condemned prisoners did not know that. Li Er did not know that. They thought that drawing blood was equivalent to drawing someone's life. They were drawing someone else's life. It's life. This isn't a loan of ten tails of silver. If I borrow it now, I'll pay it back tomorrow. Is there still life waiting for you to repay the borrowed money? Li Er's face was filled with confusion. Li Jing looked at Yun Ye without blinking. Li Ji smiled. Chen Ye Jin's expression was difficult to understand. Yu Ji Gong's face was filled with anticipation. Qin Kian seemed to be struggling in his heart. They were all waiting for Yun Ye to speak. Yun Qing, why haven't you performed the surgery yet could it be that the blood of these ten people was useless there are still some in prison. How about I ask them to send them over Yun Ye knew that Li Er wouldn't let him off. He wouldn't believe such a thing unless he saw the blood transfusion with his own eyes. Your Majesty, as long as we pass the test, We'll know that Duke Yi's body indeed needs a blood transfusion. His blood type is type A, which is a very common blood type. It's easy to find a match. 
80% of these 10 people may have type A blood. Oh then why don't you hurry up and check it? There's no need to check. I don't know if the blood types of those 10 people are correct, but one of them is suitable. Yunya lowered his head and said. Who is it Lee Er's tone was somewhat oppressive. In case everyone is worried, I will first tell you what blood transfusion is about. It wasn't as magical as the legends said. It was just a simple treatment method. Zhuang Santang's shock was caused by excessive blood loss last time, but his injuries weren't fatal. As long as he replenished his blood in time, he would recover. This was nothing unusual. Yi Kuagong's hematopoietic function is reduced, his body's blood is insufficient, and the quality is not enough to support the whole body, which causes weakness and illness. A blood transfusion will change the constitution in the fastest time and will be an effective treatment. As far as I know, there are five blood types. Four are very common. Almost all of us are of these four types. The fifth type is type E, which is extremely rare and only occurs in a few million people. Due to the different blood types of parents, there will be differences in offspring. Sometimes it is not surprising that father and son have different blood types. It is ridiculous that the world uses blood to identify relatives. How ignorant! A person's whole body blood volume is less than 10% of a person's weight. Usually, giving someone a little blood does not kill them. Instead, it will stimulate the body to produce more blood. The Qiang was scared to death last time, not bled to death. Is that the case Li Er's face was full of questions. The people in the room also looked at each other, doubting each other. To verify that what I said is true, I will give Duke Yi a blood transfusion. Coincidentally, my blood type is the same as the Duke S. No. Old Cheng refused. No. Qin Kiang disagreed. Chen Kumo stopped Yun Ye from giving him a blood transfusion. If you want to transfuse, transfuse theirs. He pointed to the hooded prisoners outside. He hugged Chen Kumo gratefully, pushed him away, and bowed before the emperor. Your Majesty, I have explained the principle of blood transfusion. Let's begin now. Your Majesty, please approve. Li Er was a little confused. He looked at Yun Ye and then at the condemned prisoners outside the room. Why are you unwilling to use the blood of the condemned prisoners instead of your own? Since my hair was tied up, my teacher has taught me to write the word human first. One stroke means benevolence, one stroke means loyalty, and one stroke means indomitable spirit. If I use the blood of the condemned today, I will lose my foundation as a human being. I will not take it. Besides, the court's laws are strict, and the condemned have their reasons for death, even if the knife and axe are the laws and punishments. I can't break the law with selfishness. Are you accusing me of breaking the law? Li Er's face was red. He was embarrassed by a 14-year-old kid's criticism. How do you explain your behavior in Longjuchi? Young people aren't human. This minister's mercy will only be given to the people of the Great Tang. As for the enemies, this minister doesn't regard them as human beings. My teacher and friends slaughtered 300 bandits in one night in the outer realm and returned to drink. I hold a cup to persuade them. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. 
Master's figure grew taller once again. Was he the son of an expert how could he not have seen a few hot-blooded incidents? Good, good, I approve. Today, we'll see how you draw your blood to do key. If you succeed, I'll allow you to enter the palace to study with the princes. Oh my god, Yunye screamed in his heart. I never planned to study at your house. Your family is the only one who is crazy. How can I be good if I go in is this a reward or punishment I dug a hole to bury myself. Everyone in the room was envious, especially Li Ji. Just as he asked Qin Kayan to lie down and use alcohol to disinfect his arm, he heard a death row prisoner kowtowing outside. Li Er ordered to remove the hemp core from the condemned man's mouth and let him speak. The prisoner is willing to draw blood. The prisoner is willing to draw blood. Please give the prisoner a chance to make amends. After saying that, he started kowtowing again, his head breaking. Yun Ye, he did it voluntarily. I believe it doesn't contradict your philosophy. You can test his blood. If it can be used, use his blood. If it can be used, I will spare his life. Yunya naturally did not want to use his blood. That would hurt a lot. Besides, why not give this brother a chance to live saving a life is better than building a seven-story pagoda. Yunya felt kinder after going to the temple twice. I hope this guy has the same blood type as Qin. After a blood test, this brother was very lucky. It was Typo, the same blood type as old Qin. He patted him on the shoulder and said, You're lucky. As long as you draw a caddy of blood, you can get back your life. This business is done. This person was also a fool and bold. He grinned and said to Yun Ye, Your Excellency doesn't know that I killed someone on the street and was also cut twice by others. I bled all over the ground and didn't see him die. I boldly asked the official to give me a chance to live. Thank you, sir. In the future, if you need blood, just look for the younger one. As long as I don't die, you can draw it. This fucking business had even started. Li Er didn't know whether to laugh or cry, and the tense atmosphere in the room relaxed. It was very smooth. Silly Bold's blood quality was very good. It entered old Chin's veins smoothly. The two of them were lying at the same height, and their blood pressure was different. Silly Bold's blood pressure was normal and naturally flowed into old Chin's low blood pressure body. After 15 minutes, Yunya ended the blood transfusion process. Old Chin's breathing was relaxed and people could not hear any noise in his lungs. He had fallen asleep. The imperial physician brought by Li Er beside him felt old Qin's pulse and nodded frequently. He looked back from time to time to see Yun Ye's effect on blood transfusion. He was very surprised. How is Qin Qing's health? Li Er was very anxious. Your Majesty, Duki's pulse is strong and his breath is long. He has fallen asleep. Old Chin was tortured by the pain and did not have enough gas. He slept very lightly every night. The time he could sleep every night was very short. This relaxation, no longer chest tightness, and many days of sleepiness naturally came like a tide, he was snoring loudly. Li Er instructed Madame Chin to take good care of everyone and bring them to the front yard. Dumbold was also brought here. 
This guy had bled a lot of blood, and besides his face turning pale, he seemed to be fine. Old Dumyuchi knocked him on the body until he made a puffing sound and even raised his arms to make a strong gesture. It seems that blood transfusions don't kill people, and blood transfusions can also save people. Things in the world are truly miraculous. After settling down at home, come to the palace to learn. Then he returned to the palace. Yunya didn't even have the chance to refuse. The head of the guards even gave him a waste token, saying it was a certificate to enter the palace. He pulled Yunya's hand and said, in the future, let's exchange our experiences in drawing blood. Old Chen was satisfied, Li Jing was satisfied, and Li Ji was very surprised. Old foolish Yuji was very dissatisfied and said that he only saw the life extension but did not see the blood loss. He said that he wanted to see it again. He liked to see other people bleed. This pervert. Qin Huiyu's eyes were full of stars, so bright that it was terrifying. He kept calling Brother Yun after Brother Yun. He was older than Yun Ye, but just as he was complacent, his neck collar was grabbed again. The familiar body odor quickly stopped him in order not to be caught in his armpit. Just now. I was worried about Uncle Qin's health and caused a few uncles to not enjoy themselves. I deserve to die. Let me cook a few dishes myself. How about you come and taste them? With Yun Yi's collar loosened, the Duke sat behind the table sipping tea, waiting for Yun Ye to make them something to eat. 